Let's apply the alternating series test to this series to determine if it converges or, di or diverges. Again, it's alternating because of the minus 1 to a power. So all that I care about right now, so AK will be the non-alternating part, K over 2K cubed plus 1. And we say, does it, uh, is it always decreasing, or at least non-increasing? So we look at f at x, x over 2x cubed plus 1. And then we take its derivative. That's the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. That is 2x cubed plus 1 minus 6x cubed all over a positive number. We'll leave it there, but I don't really care about it because it's a, since it's a squared, it's always positive. So that's negative 4x cubed plus 1 all over 2x cubed plus 1 squared. So what happens? Again, x is positive because it corresponds to k, and we're only looking at positive values of k. So if that's positive, x cubed is positive. And when k is bigger than 1, or even equal to 1, if x is even equal to 1 or more, this numerator will always be negative. This is always less than 0 for x bigger than or equal to 1. And that's all I care about, x, bigger, x is equal to 1 and beyond. So this is always negative because of the negative 4 that's there, which means that this, uh, this is decreasing. So the first requirement is satisfied. Second, what is the limit of the terms? The limit, as k goes to infinity, of ak is the limit as k goes to infinity of k over 2k cubed plus 1, 2k cubed. And we look at the biggest degree terms. The biggest degree term in the top is k, and the bottom is 2k cubed. So that's k over 2k cubed, which is 1 over 2k squared. But either way, uh, the denominator is going to win because it's a higher uh, degree polynomial. So that will go to zero. The terms go to zero, and the second requirement is satisfied, which means that the series converges.